Good morning, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> today we have a great flight going to the SIOR conference, and uh, that is in Chicago. So we're going from New York to Chicago. Trying to hook up all the cameras here quickly, and hopefully we get some really good video for you. Trying to get 430 Delta Charlie understands. Clear to uh, Golf Yankee Yankee via uh, the D's intersection. Candor, then as filed. Initial altitude of the 2,000 feet. Frequency, oh, uh, 2,000 feet, expect flight level 430 in 10. Uh, departure frequency 125.7, squawk code 3363. Back right for Zodis Charlie. Zero, zero, Delta Charlie Republic, ground rate one nine, taxi via Bravo, cross rate one four. So one nine, cr uh, down Bravo, cross one four, Honda Jet four three zero, Delta Charlie, thank you. All right, left turn here. This is where I check the brakes and everything is looking good there. Takeoff briefing, we're going to be flying down runway, runway 19. We're making a right turn, climb up to 2,000 feet, going to 219 on the heading. They'll switch us over to New York on 25.7. And from there, they'll give us vectors and altitudes to D's intersection. Now I'm going to speak to Tower. 257, you can turn 10 degrees to the left. 10 degrees to the left, I'm going to take that to Zero Delta Charlie, you ready? I am ready, Zero Delta Charlie. Delta Charlie, line up and wait, traffic in the downwind. Line up and wait, traffic in the downwind. Eight Mike Bravo, where do you park? We're going to Atlantic. Eight Mike Bravo, turn uh, right at the intersection, left on Bravo, contact ground point six. Right intersection, left on Bravo, ground point six, Eight Mike Bravo. <laughs> and the uh, Piper off your right is going to follow you. Eight Mike Bravo. Line up and wait. On the jet zero Delta Charlie, the winds 23011, gust 15, clear for takeoff, maintain 2000. Clear for takeoff, maintain 2000, zero Delta Charlie, thank you. 2 4 Romeo, clear touch and go, okay. caution wake turbulence, waiting for the on engines to spool up. They oh, have. Clear touch and go, we'll caution wake turbulence, that's parting on the jet. Maintain center line. Cross check speed. Cross check's good. Republic Tower, Wing V1. One over North Point Stacks at 1,300. There's V1, and we are at rotation speed. We've rotated. The gear comes up. Press levers to MCT, and flaps come up. Okay, now we're going to... Heading mode. Zero Delta Charlie, contact departure, have a safe flight, maintain 2000. 2000, 2000 departure, Zero Delta Charlie, thanks. 320 heading Delta 199. Okay, sure you have me, send maintain 4000. Send maintain 4000, 63. Hello, departure, Honda Jet 430 Delta Charlie, 1700 for 2000. Close the power. There, 5053, set to maintain 9,000, I'll tell you 299. Outbound call was blocked, so someone just told me. No problem. Hello, departure, Honda Jet 430, Delta Charlie, 2000. Zero Delta Charlie, new spot radar contact, joining 250, climb, maintain 7,000. 7,000 on the altitude, 250 on the direction, zero Delta Charlie, thank you. Zero Delta Charlie, contact departure, 135.9 again. 359, zero Delta Charlie. Target 95, heavy, D3210, set to maintain 2000. 210 to speed, 2000, America. As America. always on departure, it gets a little busy. All right, we got 7,250 on the heading, and he said 359. Did everybody keep up with that? 2287. Delta 199, set to maintain 3,000. 3,000, Delta 199, 0. 117,000. Left 130, up to 17,000, Delta. Power, and starting our climb. Hello, New York, Cottage at 430, Delta Charlie, sign heading 250, uh, currently 2,900 feet for 7,000. Net number 430, Delta Charlie, Roger, good morning. Turn right heading 310 and climb maintain, uh, 9,000. 310 on the heading, 9,000 altitude, 0 Delta Charlie. 0 Delta Charlie, what speed are you going to climb at today? 210 knots. Sure. Uh, 9,000. Okay, so we've set 310. Using the heading to, uh, on the autopililot, we're at MCT, maximum continuous thrust. 
climbing at 210 knots, almost 4,000 feet. Charlie, uh, studio speed, I gotta give you a couple of vectors. Make it a right turn to 070, you can climb to 17,000. 17,000 uh, and 070 on the heading for Honda Jet 430, Delta Charlie. Perfect. 5158, runway heading 1.8 for fast. 5158, your radar contact. Well, I maintain 111,000. 111,000, number 5158. Okay, there's the. Okay, and he's giving us 17,000. So 070 seven, zero on the heading. 17,000 now on the altitude. Uh, when able, we'd love to descend at 4,500. Stand by, please. 5158, turn left 090. Zero, zero. We talk about climbing speed. I'm climbing at 4,000 feet a minute. 5158, turn left 090. Not many other zero, jets zero. will climb that fast, but. Endeavor 5158, turn maybe, left 090. Maybe zero, Falcon, zero, yeah, zero, Falcon, maybe. Yeah. Well, All right, go back to my checklist. Uh, landing gear, it did. Your dampener is definitely. 5658, sink request for the first 120.85. 120.85. Press levers are MCT. 800 delta Flight kilos, guidance. you can maintain 3,000. Okay, this is all good. It's all done. All right, 070 on the heading, going up uh, to 17,000 feet now. Number 430, Delta Charlie, turn back to left heading 050. 050, zero, zero, Delta Charlie. Just checking the traffic. There isn't much around me. I gave him a really fast climb, so as you can see, there's no traffic within 2,600 feet plus or minus of my altitude in this direction. So the traffic is mostly down low. Number 800 Delta Kilo, turn left thing 220. <clears throat> Climbed out left really nicely. Zero, zero. Going back to my checklist, pressurization checks, I can check that off. Number 0 Delta Charlie, turn left thing 010. 010, zero, zero. Zero, zero, Delta Charlie. 491, a left turn 010, depart. And so we're already, before you know it, we're just about 14,000 feet. Looking down over Long Island uh, on the pilot side camera. And New York off the left. 800 Delta Kilo, turn for the left, heading 220, and you can continue descent through the Bravo. Once we get to 18,000 feet, we hit the... Number 430 Delta Charlie, contact departure 11817. Have a good day. 11817, Delta Charlie, good day. 11817, X for that. Speed Archer, target. Roger. Departure, uh, good evening, Never 5158, 10.7 for 11, very great. Never 5158, near departure, commenting on 17,000. 17,000, Never 5158. Mayor Conn, check 430, Delta Charlie, 17,000, assigned heading 010. Conn, Delta Charlie, near departure, commenting flight level 190, proceed direct these. Direct these and 19, flight level 190, Delta Charlie, thank you. All right, anticipated that. 77, call maintain. Actually, I just proceeded direct Mislin and maintain two and nine zero knots greater. We go now. I do a greater direct Mislin, Jazzy. And one nine zero thousand. Delta four ninety one, turn left heading three two zero. Left three two zero, Delta four ninety one. Belch that, and yeah, airspeed of let's say. I should be good two twenty five. Gonna be there so quick. All right, so I've switched over to the GPS from heading mode, because now we're going, and we'll go ahead and hit the baram barometer. Bottom. 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 Hello, New York, Honda Jet 430, Delta Charlie, 19,000. Honda Jet 430, Delta Charlie, New York Center, Roger, fine, maintain for 220. 220, now, zero, Delta Charlie, thank you. All right, set that in. 220, go ahead and hit Felch, and I'm going to use a climb speed. And I'm probably not going to climb at 210, I'll climb at like, I don't know, 225. Well, maybe I'll give him 210, I'll give him a fast rate of climb. So 210 knots, 210 knots is the best speed for the Honda Jet to climb. So right now it's showing, we're going to believe some speed, speed, but we were originally at 5,000 feet a minute. It'll climb 19, probably at, oh, it looks like it's going to settle in about 3,500 feet a minute. And we're already there. So we've done the altimeters, I can check that off. Eric Center, Low Jazz, with the autopilot is really handy. When you're flying a jet, Direct, uh, uh, I like to hand fly. I used to hand fly yeah, a lot New York Center, with my prior planes, which were uh, a Mooney Ovation and a Meridian. Uh, but as you can see, things happen so fast with the jet because of your speed and your 
um, mixing it up with other jets, having the autopilot, you can certainly hand fly, but having the autopilot is a godsend, it really is. And the autopilots are so sophisticated now. Climbing 250, All right, 8, so 8, now 8. just looking around, making sure everything is copacetic, it is. Keep Our 430 Delta Charlie, clear at Kander. Correct Kander, zero Delta Charlie, thanks. So, New York, good morning, Delta 491. We hit direct. For your Activate. Delta 491, New York. And that saves us again. a little fuel, I would assume. 491, and uh, we're on assigned heading 320. 491, clear direct, Gale. I'll show you what Gale, that looks like on this screen here. That gives us a pretty good route. All right, pull some power. Pull some power. Pull some power. Jeff Louis 71, climb maintain level 320. Can't use all the power that the plane has at this altitude. Jeff Louis 71, contact New York 132.17. 3217. Jeff Louis 71, climb me. Excellent. Keep going, That's a pretty good handling out of New York ATC today. Thank you, New York, if you watch this channel. Tango is uh, India Victor 714, contact New York 1134.3. So we're climbing at 26, 2700 feet a minute up. And we're already at 25,000, going up to 3,000 feet a minute. Well, we're probably going to bleed off a little airspeed here. Believe it or not, when I was in the Army and Army Special Forces on a Halo team, I have uh, a parachute jump at this altitude. Uh, it was a two-minute free fall. That's a Halo jump. It stands for High Altitude Low Opening. So back in my uh, military days, which was very foundational for me, very formative, very good. Some people uh, have commented on the channel what that ring is. I think it's maybe a West Point ring, but it's actually the Special Forces Crest. And over here is my scuba badge. Direct to news. Very, very hard fought to get that. And my halo jump wings. A little, a little history about me for those that care. Love, love doing that. Piedmont 5768, climbing team flight level 290. Climbing team flight level 290, Piedmont 5768. Okay, the plane's still climbing very nicely. Direct to news. Doing about 2,000 feet a minute up. Direct news, news 270, Jeff Blue 1346. Jeff Blue 1346. No, now we're going 2,500 feet a minute. All right, so it really does a dandy job of climbing. So going into Chicago, uh, used to be easy. There used to be a great downtown airport mix. And then Mayor Daly uh, decided to bulldoze it one night. Not a nice guy. Uh, so the other airports in Chicago, we could go into them. Go into, I've been to O'Hare twice. But it's a lot of cost and a lot of brain damage. So what we found that... Uh, Right outside, uh, Gary, Indiana has a fantastic airport with almost 9,000 feet of nice, clean pavement, great FBOs. Coleman FBO is my favorite. Coleman, a little bit of history, is named after uh, B. Coleman, who was a famous aviator, broke a lot of bar barriers. She was a woman aviatrix back in the day they called aviatrix. She was an African-American who... Uh, you know, broke down barriers. I mean, this is, oh, geez, I think she was flying Senator, like 1920. Uh, so, uh, was an air show pilot. So, uh, Jeppa 484, Senator Rogers, full of practical speed, please. Uh, and we'll slow down, Jeppa 484. Uh, Coleman Aviation, which is one of my favorite FBOs. Really Jeff nice Creole, folks Jeff there. Uh, is named uh, after her, which is really cool. A little history there. Uh, going to see some of my uh, friends, Society of Industrial and Office Realtors. It's a very prestigious organization. Only the top percent, a few percent of brokers get to get in. And we're now a very global organization. Um, we have brokers, not just throughout the United States, but throughout the world now, which is great. So we, we meet twice a year. Um, as like the next convention is in Berlin, I mean, they very well attend that and uh, do a lot of that work. It gives us a lot of great, great contacts to, to work transactions with them. And uh, 
Again, these are the best of the best brokers, and they come from brokerage firms, big and small, the, uh, the Goliaths to the independents. But the, the good thing is everybody's vetted. Everybody's a good broker, and we, we have a strict uh, uh, standards as far as ethics, so it's, 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 it's a great group. And we have some great speakers lined up. They go into the section is the start of the arrival, but I could go direct to Ocean right there, but you can, you can go to Goshen. It makes no difference. I don't know what runway I'm landing at yet. Let me go back and figure that out. Well, wow, it's saying it's got no wind. Look at that, zero, zero, zero at zero. With 10 miles of visibility and clear. Wow, no wind, zero wind. So it'll be whatever active runway they want to use to pull up the chart for the airport. Southwest 3014, contact Cleveland Center 124.32. So maybe if the winds are light or non-existent, we'll get runway 30, uh, which is pretty much the way we're going. If not, they'll give us runway 12. It's nice long, uh, 88, almost 9,000 foot. This would be too small. We wouldn't accept that runway. I ask for a little higher, save some fuel. Probably get over some of the stiffest wind. So right now I'm anticipating we're going to get runway 30. I could go ahead and even put that in, but it's possible it will change. I'll assume vectors for the moment. We'll go ahead and preview that approach. Again, this is all subject to change. Assuming I get this runway, they're going to have me between 2,400 and 6,000 feet. I'm going to guess three or 4,000 feet to intercept. Come down. Glide slope intercept is at 2,000 feet. It's an absolutely clear day over there. It's a clear day around the country here. The weather's really uh, beautiful. Uh, the East Coast going all the way west. Hello, New York, American. I would uh, three. Uh, We're have to see the runway here. by 791 right. feet, which absolutely shouldn't be a problem. And uh, 26, 22 with the other 13, 6, five and one, pretty seven, straightforward thousand. approach. So 26, 22. Right? So for now, for planning purposes, though it's subject to change, I'm going to go ahead and load that. I'll even put in the weather. Now it's saying 0400 knots. Wow, that's cool. So I'm way, way, way ahead of where I need to be, which is okay. Better to be ahead than not. Should need 3,400 feet of runway of 7,900 feet. I'll go ahead and even post that. Again, subject to change later on, but that's what it looks like. Fuel at destination is indicating 1,000 pounds. That's 400 pounds over my reserve, which is good. One of the things I love about the Honda Jet is I can um, do a little what-if analysis. What if I stay at... Um, what would be my arrival time and my fuel if I stay at 41,000 versus if I go up to 4,300. Now, intrinsically, I know that if I go up to 43, uh, not 4,300, 43,000, if I go up to 43,000, I'll save some fuel, but it will take me a little bit longer. Center um, Frontier, 1460, leveling 17,000. So we'll, we'll, we, what we could do is we could go into the flight plan. I'm going to compare the two. At flight level 430, it's saying the average headwind is 52 knots, so the wind actually comes down. Four, three, All right, three, so... Airy Shore 277, right? Actually, so 26, 22, get there faster if I climb three, higher. Zero, zero. Very interesting. Climb 300, dot 26, right? And I save some fuel. Take out Southwest the bagel, 50, contact New York Center, one, two, eight, point five, seven. 30. Go ahead and load that. Go back to standby flight plan, standby perf. Oh, okay, the active gets us there quicker. Frontier 1461, and the fuel difference is negligible. 380, Frontier 1461. So, it's saying here I get, get there 12 minutes faster and at a cost of fuel of 18, 18 pounds, which is nothing. Good morning, so I'll say, uh, uh, after all that, the analysis is stay at flight level 410. Right? Good morning, Delta 1461, Delta 1461, Delta 
Chicago Center, 100 Jet 430 Delta Charlie, uh, 18,200 for 16,000. A couple of people checking in there. I believe one Wisconsin 6280 Chicago Center, Roger. Maintain three zeros going out for greater precision. Ground out for greater precision, Wisconsin 6280. I believe the other one may have been Honda Jet 430 Delta Charlie, Chicago Center, uh, cross Meg Zap, maintain 11,000, self find out, commuter 2987. 29 or 87 in the altimeter mix at 11,000. I'm going to request the uh, RNAV 30 approach into uh, carry. Okay, I'll uh, see what I can do with cell time. Okay, 11,000. Create that waypoint. So, I've done. I've already listened to eight. Four three zero Delta Charlie, you're clear to Gary. Be direct to. You still want me, Megs? Uh, Eleven thousand, I assume. No, oh, number zero Delta Charlie, go direct that kick me down, then direct Gary. Just descend and maintain one one thousand. Go to eleven thousand, kick the direct Gary and zero Delta Charlie, Roger. Well, Wisconsin sixty two eighty seven, clear direct the halls, cross halls at maintain one two thousand. I check the halls and halls at one two twelve thousand. Wisconsin sixty two eighty seven. Also got that in the box. Keys. Pull some power here. Three. United 3. And we'll descend at 260. United 503, clear direct halls, cross halls at maintain 139, maintain 300. Kind of Chicago approach. So okay. requesting runway 30, which is almost directly straight ahead. Clear direct to halls, cross Coming out of 15,000 now, going to 11,000. Talking to Chicago approach. Uh, we've got about 15 more minutes and then we'll be on the ground, maybe a little bit less. And. Uh, Landing field elevation, got that in. I already have, I go to my flight plan, I already have, um, I'm a, I asked for yeah, so, uh, RNAV 36, 30 30 approach. I'm assuming yeah, vectors, and they've already given me vectors, so yeah, I can kind of, yeah. And uh, assume that one, got 46, correct. Chicago Center, clear and got hall. the landing field elevation, clear don't down need anti-ice, I've already six. set the altimeters. Two, seatbelt, yeah, I've been belted, there's no passengers, avionics are, uh, I already did that, so well, I'll just go through it again so you can see it, but landing data, I already did all this. We go to weather, and we load the weather. The wind is like nothing, zero knots. Uh, runway, assuming they give us three zero. Plenty long, 8,000 feet, landing configuration set. So we need about... 3,400 feet of 8,000. I've already accepted that landing data. So that's why it's 280 hit it again, but... No. So now it's posted, V-Rep is 110. So V-Rep in, in jet lingo. Ah, it could be fall plane. 430 Delta Charlie, Connex South and Approach, 125.75. Good day. 25750 Delta Charlie, thank you. 2575, X for that. X for flips it right up into the active pre. So avionics are all set. Alpha Echo Southbound Departure. Landing Ida data set confirmed. Clear Negative left. cast messages. Those are crew alerting systems that would appear here. Nothing there. Approach briefing. We're anticipating runway 30. Nice long runway. Beautiful day. Um, yeah, should be We're really, Echo, really Alpha good. Echo, I'm all set up for that. From Alpha, South of the Laboard Airport. And, and the next thing up. Will be so flat. So I'll transition out of this. So that's 2258. Uh, southbound altimeter 2985. Uh, southbound altimeter 2000. And clear direct Haley. Throw the direct approach plate on. I could descend at 250 knots, not faster, because under 10,000 feet, we're restricted to 250 knots. But I can go right up to 250 knots. Sure, Delta Charlie, uh, just verify. Do you want the RNAV 31 into Gary? Is RNAV 30, uh, but yes, into Gary. Got it. Missed approach, but I don't anticipate, but if for some reason there was someone on the runway or something, be climbing out to 1,100 feet, then a climbing left turn to 2,400 feet to this, back to this. Uh, uh, Richard Whiskey, uh, squad 1355. Which is a waypoint. The great thing about the Comedy Jet, uh, as long as I haven't disengaged the autopilot, what I got to do is hit a button here uh, on the eight throttles. Thousand. And uh, 
Where's your zero whiskey? We're going to contact eight miles north of the Michigan City Airport. Uh, maintain your power below uh, 8,500 for now. I keep the uh, autopilot engaged. Uh, I don't have to do is hair. manage the power and gear and flaps. Oh, a little bit bumpy there. Slower down. I think it's just thermals. Even though it's mid-October, it is a beautiful day. We're flying over farm country, and the sun heats up the ground, and then that heats up the air above it, and you get rising columns of air. Because there certainly isn't uh, much of a wind. Now that we only have 14 knots of headwind, for most of the flight, we have 92 knots. I am just hopeful that God will give us the same wind on the return flight. Collision 1070, southbound approach, southbound altimeter, uh, 2985, uh, climbing chain. Approach the airport, we're going to want to slow it down. We have to be under 200 knots as we get to the airport. So we are anticipating that they're going to give us the runway we and approach that we asked for. I see no reason why not. Sector 2, Agamai, go ahead. And I have towers standing by. I've completed all my checklists up until this yes. point. The checklists appear on the left screen when I push and hold this button for three seconds. Lift 6, 6, 10, so the next thing it was 186, contact, uh, uh, I want to do some I didn't need cabin signs or uh, passenger briefing is um, flaps. But we don't do that yet. Direct Haley, resume the arrival. Direct Haley, resume arrival, South 2258. Southwest 344, cross Haley at 6,000. Haley at 6,000, Southwest 344. Southwest 2258, maintain 250 knots, contact Chicago She's approach, 128.2. Welcome to the Three Chicago point area. Point Number... Not bad, though. That was 5489, contact Chicago, beautiful farmland. If you look out the... Uh, Number zero, zero, whiskey, VFR climbing. Pilot's window, there. you can see all these beautiful farms. Southbound, Southwest 3278. The simple thing to always do as a pilot is make sure the approach plate that you're looking at is for the right airport and the right runway and the right approach. So. We're here, Delta Charlie, contact Chicago approach 128.2. 28.20, that's Charlie, thank you. Southwest 344, maintain 250 knots, contact Chicago approach. Hello, Chicago. Honda Jet 430 Delta Charlie bumping along at 4,000 feet, requesting the uh, RNAV 30 approach into uh, Gary. Jet 430 Delta Charlie, Chicago approaching for sea direct to kick speed and intercept the final approach course. In information X ray is current at Gary, I'll put it to I'm direct kick, uh, kick B now, and we'll, we'll do the uh, 30 approach. Have information X ray 0 Delta Charlie. There's someone in the whiskey, altitude is zero, discretion. Altitude, our discretion. Thanks, someone in the whiskey. Okay. So we're all set up. Gary. Big off uniform member, tell Chicago departure radar contact traffic. This off your left, northwest bombs and airbus at 4,000. Stay off the two leaving. Uh, 1500 now, yeah. The approach. Uh, traffic. Approach is armed. South 162, proceed direct Lukey. Direct to Lukey, south of 162. Gary's over to the right. And a dead zero to Charlie, descend to maintain 3,000. 3,000, zero to Charlie. Established on the final approach course, cleared straight in RNAV, Yankee runway 30 approach. 3,000 till established, cleared for your uh, uh, RNAV 30 approach, zero with up to Charlie. Thank you. Or South 1572, 2003. Oh, South 1572, easy. Chicago departure, radar contact, comma maintain 5,000. 5,000, South 1572. Yeah. Charlie Golf, uniform November hotel, comma maintain 4,000. Climbing 4,000, Charlie Golf, uniform November hotel. Sure, Swanley Milwaukee, maintain VF radar Gambling above 4,500. 3,000, that is going to turn right. right. Runway is in sight. Southwest 344, cross hills at 5,000, could I left runway 31 center approach? Plane is turning. Speed. Hills at 5,000, cleared the aisle, 31 center approach. Surprise, it's bumpy. Southwest 344. Just thermal, nice suspect, since there's no wind. Southwest 1460, knots are greater to uh, runs, connect midway tower runs no to 135.2. 170 are better to run. Tower there, 35.2, frontier 1461. Southwest 162, come and maintain 15,000. 15,000, southwest 162. Runway inside. 1572, proceed direct to Lukey. Eric Lukey, south 1572. Jet 0 to Charlie, connect Gary Tower 125.6. Over to tower, 25-6-0, that's Charlie, good day. That's 20. Sometimes, vertical track. Sometimes you got to talk fast when they're busy. Okay, vertical track. We're going one notch of flaps now. Get that off my checklist. I'll talk to tower. Almost going to do gear. Hello, Gary Tower, uh, Honda Jet Zero Delta, Charlie inbound on the uh, RNAV 30 approach, 3,000 feet. Honda Jet 430 Delta, Charlie, Gary Tower, 30, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 300, Delta, Charlie, runway inside. Okay, gear is coming down. 
That's a display of the gear. We've got one notch. Three green. Three green is good. Go back to our checklist. We've done flaps. Next checklist. Landing gear is done. Speed brakes not deployed. And the next thing will be landing flaps. Gary and Deanna used to have a lot of steel mills, and unfortunately a lot of that business has left America. Uh, I think there's still some, but uh, over to the look out to the right of the front camera, you can see a lot of old, uh, well, there's some smokestacks that are still going, but old buildings. Go ahead and put my last notch of flaps out. You will recall we want to land at 110. 110 is our V rev speed. We'll try to get as close, if not right on it, as close as possible to it, not underneath it. Okay, plane is slowing down. I'll pull a little bit more power. Okay, landing flaps are done. Airspeed, we're going for V rev. Yep, probably gonna need a little power to hold. That's good. Uh, feet on the brakes and on the rudders, and chair is up. It's a clear day, but you can still see some haze. I don't know if that's pollution or, I don't know. Okay, this is my airspeed over here. I'm at 114, I just dipped down. So I wanna get close to 110. So we're just using our thrust to uh, control that. All right, looking down at the runway, I got two red, two white fasces. That shows me I'm perfectly on glide slope. There's 110. A little bit of power. Sometimes you gotta just go back and forth on the power. And uh, saying zero headwind, so that's good. All right. But there's still some oscillation. I can feel it. Must be just the thermals. Yeah, we just gained ten knots. All right. Pull some power. Pull some power. Nice long runway, but nevertheless, we always want to practice for a short runway and be precise. 500. That's 500 feet. Taking the autopilot off. Autopilot's now off. I'm hand flying. Pull flaps. B ref. Center line. Come down a little bit. Pull some power. Come left a little bit. Pull some power. Minimums. Minimums. Okay, pull some power. There's V rep right on it. A little bit of power to hold. Okay, power coming out. Got center line. Three greens. Nice. There's the thousand foot marker. Put it down before the thousand foot. Uh, applying brakes, not too heavy. Don't need to burn them up today. That was a great landing. That was really great. Probably have 5,000 feet left. All right. And is it zero? Try to turn right there, Bravo. If able, if not, turn right at twenty and taxi to park via Alpha today. I can make it here, Bravo one. Uh, zero Delta Charlie, with you or go to ground. This frequency. Great. Stay with you. What a, I really do like this FBO. One of the things that's really nice about this FBO is they have this. Huge morning, though. Some little plane is there. Two planes are there. Uh, that on a rainy day can be really, really nice. Well, it looks like they might have room at the inn, so to speak. Room under that beautiful awning. I wish every FBO had this. And I'll do a nice sharp turn here. This plane turns on a dime. I could turn it even harder. Look at this. He's got me in the shade. Is this sweet? All righty. 